Hey everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching today. So I wanted to show you some ways to use the swing dies with more recent stamps that I've bought out. So I'm going to show you how I've made this one here. So you've got the swinging plane and it's over the rooftops. You've got the globe there, the map, the suitcase, you've got the grandparents and then that nice sentiment. And there's also this version that I've made here for a new baby or twins. And you've got the house and the uh, the pram there, another nice sentiment. And you can write on the back of these and then they all fold flat and they're fit into a six by six envelope. These ones were originally made with the jungle collection here. So you can also turn them into easel style ones. And you can see this one here has the very cute little ape swinging there and you've got the gorgeous embossing folder the wood grain one this one's now back in stock it did sell out but it is back in stock it's one of my favorite embossing folders all that lovely detail with the flowers there as well and then these ones all fold flat so you fold that one in and then that over the top so that's how it will go in the envelope you've got your space on the back there to be able to write your message so i'll link the tutorial for this version because i have that already on the channel and then today i'm going to show you how to make this one so let's get started so this is the swing card die set mechanism. So you've got your apertures here and then you've got this piece which will turn the card into a temp fold and then you've got your pieces there for the swing. So I've already gone ahead and cut everything that I need and I'll talk through that in more detail when we go to cut the apertures and stuff. And then I've used actually something from all of the stamp sets. These are the newest stamp sets that I've just released. So I've taken the plane and the paper plane there from the travel set then I've taken the grandparents from the selfie set and then the house. Actually, now I've taken the globe as well and the map and the passport and the luggage. <laughs> so it's quite a lot from the travel. Um, and then the sentiment. So we've got the fly high, which is this one here. So There's quite a lot going on. And you've got all the dies there that come with the stamps because they're die and stamp combos. So you've got them all there. Paper pad, I've used the scenes paper pad. And I've already taken the clouds there, just worked perfectly with this one that I wanted to do. So we'll go through all of the bits and pieces that I've cut in a moment. First of all, I want to stick this piece on the, this one's going to be on the inside. Yeah, I'm going to stick this on the inside. So when the aperture is cut, you're going to see this because the plane's going to be swinging inside the card. So I've cut this just slightly smaller than my six by six card blank. If you're making your card blanks from scratch, you'll want a piece of 12 by six. And along the 12 inch side, you're going to score at six inches. So nice and easy that I give you your card blank. And then I'm just going to pop this one. Like I said, it's just slightly smaller, just so it all fits within that section there, like so. And I'm going to flip it over. Now, if you want to decorate the front with pattern paper, do it now before you then die cut your aperture. So, like I said, you've got three here. This one here's got your leaves because it was to go with the um, animals that we launched, but I'm going to go for these ones today. So I'm going to make a frame. So I don't need the largest one. I want the smallest one. And I'm going to cut that in the centre here. So I'm just going to tack it in place with some of my washi. I think I'm going to do the red frame, which is why I've got that paper there. I'll just move that out of the way. I've already cut the base piece there to turn it into the tent fold. So I want to get this in the middle. So I reckon that there looks good. I'm going to add my tape so it's stuck in this piece because we're not going to need that. So if it does tear at all, at least it's going to tear that piece there. And I'm going to just run that through my die machine. Also, quick tip for anybody new. If you're die cutting onto white card, your top plate, if it's anything like mine, it's got all these marks on it, those impressions could transfer over onto your card. So if you just pop some copy paper over the top, then that will mean all of those marks and any dirty marks there may be, they're all transfer onto the white card, um, copy paper rather than the white card. Okay, so that's all now cut through. So when we... Open the card now, you'll see that detail inside. And then to cut the frame, I'm just going to take this one. Leave that piece, I'll use this actually. And the larger one. And you want to just sit it in the middle so you've got a nice equal frame. And just tuck that in place. 
and then I like to hold it up just to make sure that it's the same. And now I'm going to run that through my dye machine on the red card and that will give me my frame. I'm just popping some glue on the back there and I'm going to stick that one on the front. Kind of looking more like a target at the moment, but once we decorate this, it's going to all come together. Okay, so then in the die set, you get the smaller dies here, these two. So you want to cut this one, which is what your swing is going to swing from. So this will hold it in place. I've cut this in acetate. Top tip, since I've got my chrome plate, cutting acetate is like cutting butter. It is perfect. This was one pass cut straight through. Usually you have to add some shims or a partially cut and then I just have to finish the rest off with some scissors. But since getting the chrome plate, it's just amazing. So highly recommend that one. So with this one here, you'll have three like little marks. You've got one that's right in the middle. So you just want to fold it in half and the holes there will line up. And then the outer ones you want to fold out and again on this side so you've got this kind of like m shape you can see you've got the two holes at the bottom and then these like little wings either side what you want to do now is stick these two pieces together so i'm just going to add my glue just in the middle there and just close that so you're left now with those wings so you want that shape. So just give that a minute to dry. So I've cut that in acetate so that it really does look like the plane is kind of floating. But if you want to use cardstock, you can. And in the other examples, I have used cardstock and then I've had, you know, like the vines and from the leaves and stuff that were also launched with the collection. They were all stuck onto this because it was cardstock. So, you know, either way works and um, has some nice effects. So next you want to attach this. If you want to mark halfway with a pencil, because you're going to just cover it with this, you can. I've made a few of these now. So I'm just going to add the glue just on one half, first of all. And I'm going to stick it in the centre, just up to the score line. Don't want to go on the score line, but just up to it. Just bring that down. I can see Kind of sit that on the top there yeah that's going to hang perfectly so just make sure that's secure and then i've got myself a brad here so you just want the smaller ones i think i've picked up the larger ones there yeah these are the eight ten mil i think you want the five mil these are my smaller ones here I think I've got three mil as well even smaller but i'm just going to take a yellow one you don't see this unless someone really opens up the card. So I'm going to take this one and there'll be a little dot at the top. You can see the hole there on the die. So I'm going to pop it through and then pop it through here. And then I like to grab my pokey tool. That will make it easy for you to open the split pin, but then pop it either side and then bring that out. And then that side. So you're, you're squashing it over the pokey tool and it just means that this really does swing it's hard for you to you can hear it there how it's knocking from side to side it just means you get yeah that guaranteed swing so right now when you stand it up it won't stand open so that's when you're going to need this piece so you can add this now if you want or add it after you've stuck whatever it is you're having there because of the plane and it's acetate so i'll be using red tape and if it you can reposition it basically on acetate. So I'm going to stick this down next. So you want to, I like to go over the lines when it uh, die cuts, it will give you this impression here. So you'll be able to see, I like to go over them. So I'm just going to do a mountain valley mountain. And you want to W this time. So these wings are sticking up because it sticks in this way. So I'm going to add my glue down there and then open it up and you want that folded side to run right along the bottom of the card there and then just squash that down and then add your glue to the other side and then you can just bring this one up you can just fold it all down flat 
but if you'd rather do this first then you can whatever works best as long as eventually it can all fold flat but now your card will stand open like so so then i've got my plane so i want to get that in place first now i'm thinking actually what i'm going to do is start adding the houses because i may trim this and have the plane a bit higher it depends how high i go with these now i've got one of the houses i thought would be nice on the very front and i want nan and granddad to kind of be just behind there i've got my sentiment here which i've just stamped and then cut using some of my circle dies so that's probably going to go up there i've got the paper plane as well but i wanted to do like a cluster there and then have all these inside but you're only going to see a little bit of them so i've colored these with my colored pencils i'm actually using the black widow ones at the moment and then i've just gone over all of the windows with my accent glaze so it just gives it a little bit more texture it looks quite cool so let's let's do that first so i'm just going to add some glue to the bottom there so let's get this one kind of in the middle and i'm just going to start kind of placing these So I've had to edit this into the end of the video because I got distracted when I was making this and had to finish filming. So here is the finished card. Really pleased with how this one come together. You can see all that glaze there over the globe and the map and on the windows. And then the plane just swings really nicely from side to side. And then you've got all that space on the back there to write your message. All folds flat and that's going to fit into your 6x6 envelope. So I hope you've enjoyed this card style from me today. Just another way to use the swing card dies with all of those stamps. As always, everything will be linked in the description box below. And I'll be back soon with more fun card tutorials. Take care. Bye.